Fighting in a built-up area, a key skill for any infantry soldier. Here, a company of troops from the 1st Battalion Welsh Guards is using a disused paper mill on the outskirts of Banja Luka in Bosnia. Looking on, General Redmond Watt, Commander-in-Chief, HQ Land Command. But while all the soldiers have to maintain their military skills, some members of the battalion have been doing another sort of training. Meet the Iron Guardsman team. Their mission, to cycle 1,300 miles from Bosnia to Calais, then kayak across the English Channel, and finally to run from Dover to Wellington Barracks in London, the equivalent of three marathons in three days. I think everybody thinks I'm mad. My friends can't believe it, um, but that means I get a lot of money out of them. Um, my mother says to me, why can't I just get on the plane home like everybody else? <laughs> Perhaps not mad, but to undertake such a venture has required massive commitment from the team and a lot of effort spent canoeing, running, working in the gym or on the spinning bikes. The idea is to mark the end of the battalion's tour of duty with U4 in Bosnia and to remember the 25th anniversary of the Falklands War, where the regiment lost 36 of its comrades. I think before any sort of, uh, sort of expedition, Anyone who's sort of in charge of it is slightly concerned about the levels of all their guys. And I think, you know, if you weren't that concerned, you'd, you'd be, you know, mildly ignorant. But I think um, the guys have been working hard. So we've got um, a solid crew of guys that have been working together well now for a few months. And I've no doubt that they've got the capacity and resolve to, uh, to deliver the goods on the expedition. The Iron Guardsman Challenge also hopes to raise £25,000 for three charities. The Army Benevolent Fund, Everyman, and the South Atlantic Medal Association. St David's Day, a day of celebration and national pride for anyone from Wales. The traditional presentation of leagues by the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall. And then the royal couple meet the Iron Guardsman team. Iron Guardsman Challenge! Three, two, one, go! Uh, my family back home have been very supportive uh, themselves, kind of walking around the sponsorship forms. Uh, getting the money raised for the charities. We're most looking forward to kayaking. Uh, you know, probably really not, not relishing the idea of uh, running three marathons in three days. I'm least looking forward to riding through the French Alps. That's going to be so cheeky. It's unbelievable. It's going to be hard. It'll be, it'll be a man test. So it's the end of day one and the team have reached the town of Cleodore. The Royal Send-Off is behind them. In front of them, another 1,250 miles.